Hey y'all, it's Timothy here. Listen, I wanna give you three reasons why it seems impossible to forgive someone that hurt you. Three reasons. Reason number one is that we feel that when you say, I forgive you, that we're saying what you've done to me is okay. Forgiveness is not the same as condoning. Reason number one, reason number one is that we feel that forgiveness is condoning. Listen, when you tell that person, when you say, listen, I forgive you, what you're not saying is what you've done to me is okay. You're not saying it was okay you walked out on me. It was okay you cheated on me. It was okay you you left me. It's okay that you that 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 you wasn't there when I grew up. It's okay that you betrayed me. That that's not what forgiveness is. And so that's that misconception is that we feel that I can't I cannot do this because I want them to know that what they done was wrong. But thing about it about it is is that unforgiveness, you I mean hurts you. Right, and so we'll get that a little later on. But uh, reason number one that it seems so impossible to forgive is that we have this lie to say that if I forgive, if I tell that person I forgive them, that I'm saying what you've done to me is okay. That's not what forgiveness is. What forgiveness? What forgiveness is is saying in spite of what you've done, in spite of the mistake, in spite of the of the, of the flaw or the crime, or whatever has happened. I am choosing to get over it to get past it and to get through it. I am choosing to not allow that crisis in my life to be the wall, but act, but but it to be a stepping stone. Not it to be a mountain, but to be a valley that I'm gonna walk through uh, to a state of maturity and I'm gonna learn from the other side, right? It's, 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 it's not saying I'm not gonna allow this to be my hindrance anymore, but I am forgiving you. Uh, and if possible and if necessary, and if beneficial, we will move forward in this relationship, if there still is one, uh, knowing that uh, we won't make the same mistakes, right? That's forgiveness. If we live, if, listen, if we don't live, if we live a life with not forgiving, then it will be a horrible life, a horrible life. And the reason why is that I'll, I'll get to the, I'll get to a little bit. But uh, but the first reason that the reason why it's so difficult or impossible it may seem to forgive is that we're that we feel that forgiveness is condoning that when we say I forgive you what you done we're saying what you done to me is okay. Reason number two that we do not forgive or people refuse to forgive is that they weaponize the the unforgiveness. And again, like you understand, I'm I give you three reasons. I don't know the details of your situation. I'm sure they're harsh. I'm sure they're difficult. And I'm sure you feel like you have a many, many, many merits. But once again, what is forgiveness? Forgiveness is not for them. Forgiveness is for you. Forgiveness heals you. Forgiveness releases you. So when people have pain and they use that and they use that situation and weaponize that unforgiveness as as a as a tool or an attack or an arrow to shoot towards the other person. The problem is uh, it, it hurts you. It's a double-edged sword. It hurts you at the same time. And so the reason why people don't uh, want don't want to forgive is because they are using that pain as a weapon to get back with that person. Well, I'm not going to talk with that person again. I'm going to step out of that person's life. They they're they're going to uh, they're not going to see the kids anymore. They're not going to do this anymore. I, I'm, I'm, I, they, they, enough is enough. I, you know what I mean? And again, I understand situation may be difficult. There's some other things connected to it where you got to do what you got to do sometimes. And uh, however, um, one of the reasons why we don't forgive is because we weaponize unforgiveness. Thirdly, a reason why we don't forgive is because we identify with the crisis that happened in that state of unforgiveness. Oh, you got to you got to get this. If we're not careful, if we're not careful, we will we, we will hold on to a state of the crisis that 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 happened that birthed the, that birthed unforgiveness. We will lower the anchor of our ship called life and we will stay there. And instead of moving forward, we will move in circles and we will judge everybody and everything from that state of, un, of, 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 of pain, all right? And so we, the reason why we don't change and we don't move forward in that place of unforgiveness is, is, uh, is because it's because we identified with it.
or you, every every time you ever ever met somebody, that every time they open their mouth, you ask them, you just talk to them. Every conversations lead back to about something that happened to them, some difficulty, some problem, something that happened to them years ago. And again, I, I'm not I'm not negating. I believe we need to be at a better time in our society where we are truly and authentically caring about people, having conversations. How amazing would it be as a society, as a nation, as a world? And here in America, especially when we say, hey, how are you doing? We actually mean it. There want, there needs to be a conversation. So so many people there was pain in dark times does not bring it brought into light. And then we see that then we see the aftermath about visiting him at a funeral, updating a updating a Facebook status, hashtag suicide. You know what I mean? There has to be more than what we can do. But I believe it happens through the state some some states of conversation. But anyways off the rabbit trail of that however the reason why we don't forgive is because we identified with the pain it's who we are it becomes who you are it be, you you become you become you become the victim of your past the victim of your mistake or not your mistake sorry the victim of what was done to you okay what was done to you so the three reasons why I want this plethora of reasons three reasons why we choose not to forgive reason number one reason number one excuse me is that uh, we feel that when we say I forgive you, we're condoning the mistake. Reason number two is that we weaponize forgiveness. And reason number three, we identify with the byproduct of that pain. It becomes our identity. Listen, unforgiveness is a cancer that will eat you alive. It is a skin disease that will eat you alive. Unforgiveness is a, is a, is a, is a, is a, is a generational, generational baton that is passed down from family to family to family to family through words, through actions, through deeds, and it will it it, it will affect your very outlook on life. Outlook on life. A man broke your heart. This man, this man, he 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 said all the right words. Walked walked your life and broke your heart. And now and and now you update your status as like all oh, men are dogs. Men are this. Men men they want one thing and one thing only. This girl that you thought that you were courting, you were dead. You bought all the different stuff. You thought uh, you thought y'all were gonna be more than friends. And and uh, and come to find out, she went out with a different guy. And 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 now and now you think all girls are nothing but gold diggers and all this other stuff. Listen, that is a moment. That moment. That that pain, that issue, that mistake, that affected your worldview. And now all the women you view after you view through those lenses until they prove otherwise. That's not a way we should live, y'all. It's innocent to proving guilty, but unforgiveness in your pain, it will it will be the sunglasses. Where are my sunglasses on? It will, it will be the sunglasses. If I, can write, if I can pick them up, it'll be the sunglasses that you look through that, that every single thing in life is skewed from the vision of these things, right? My sunglasses, these Ray-Bans are black. They're yeah, black, whatever it is. And I look through it, and now what I do is look through that. This is th These are unforgiveness. And if you don't handle it, if you don't deal with it, I promise you, it will walk with you the rest of your life. People, and the bi biggest lie is this, and I'm, I'm, I'm done. Biggest lie is that people will say, well, it's going to go away with time. No, it doesn't go away with time. The only thing that goes away with time is opportunity to resolve it, to confront it, or to heal it. Listen, maybe sometimes a byproduct of, of the conversation, the relationship is not reconciled. But for the thing about it, what is forgiveness? Again, forgiveness is not for them. Forgiveness is for you. All right? It's for you. So reasons why, one more time, reasons why, three reasons why people don't forgive, why it's, it's impossible, it's difficult to forgive. We think forgiveness is condoning. We're saying what you've done to me is okay. That's not true. Forgiveness is forgiven. We, we weaponize forgiveness. We use it as a weapon. And thirdly, we identify with the byproduct of the crisis. It becomes who we are. That's not how you should live. So YouTube, get this in. Walk this out. Do me a favor. Like, comment, subscribe. Listen, I want, I want to change this world. Let's change the world by changing our world. Like, comment, subscribe, share this video like like you've never shared a video before. There's too many people hurting in silence. Let's let's uproot depression. Let's uproot suicide. Let's uproot anxiety. Let's uproot these pains that people are walking through in silence, but faking smile in public by shining light in dark situations and having conversations such as this. That's that's what YouTube. I, I want this YouTube channel to be a place where 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 voices of reason can be 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 in your home and be in your house. And I believe this is where we need to start. 
how do you do it forgiveness because listen you need to forgive you need to release uh, I I'll love to chat with you in the comment sections and I got a lot to talk about this but I'm gonna get back on uh, get my attention back on this road but hey holla at y'all later peace